Are we live? No. Uh, Jan, you're good to start. All right. Thank you, and welcome to this session with the uh, Add Your Country to the Wikidata Wiki Project Gov Directory, I think is the full title. And me and Albin here today, can we get Albin on, on screen as well? Uh, we'll today try to add an entire country uh, to Wiki Project Gov Directory. And here is the 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 page where you start, it's, uh, it's linked from the etherpad that is also in the session uh, chat. And here's how it looks. And what we're gonna see down here is a number of different countries. I'm gonna click in on one of these just to show you what it is. So for example, Sweden, which is very well modeled. I think we have everything in there. How it looks, you can see there are agencies of different levels. Sorry and to ID with the entire uh, project. Sorry, could you just make the screen a little bit bigger? Sure, yes, I can zoom in a little bit. And of course, the entire idea with the Wiki Project Gov directory is to collect all the government agencies of all the countries in the world. Just a little bit ambitious. Uh, just the right amount of, of, of ambitious for Wikidata. Exactly. Yeah, and we'll take a, a look at a newer thing like Iceland here, which is not as well built. Uh, there's still the little template here in the top, some useful useful links. We have the ministries coming up, some courts, uh, local authorities, and some coverage oh. here. So, we, so we're going to go through this and see how we can do this for an entirely new country. So starting from scratch here. And there's a, this list of wiki project country subdivision, subdivision, which you can take as a, a starting point to find out, are, is my country already good? And this can be a lot of work, depending on what the state of Wikidata is. Now, we already checked here that Peru is quite advanced. So we're going to start out with that. And do, do you want to explain, Albin, what we're doing now? Yes, now we are creating one of those pages that you just showed. And we got this nice little feature here that you can just type in the name of the country and it will do a bunch of stuff for you. So let's see here. There we go. We get this little template here and we have to know that Peru is Q419, of course. Do you know that by mind or? No, I have, uh, okay. I have uh, cheating notes here. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, some people on the countries that. <laughs> yes. And then, of course, here, every time it says country, we will change that for Peru. And we're going to go in here some sometimes as well. And I, here I already know that this is going to be 19. And here it's going to be. 196. No, not the first level. That's just uh, hello, hello. 25. May I ask you yes. to um, explain in a few words what you are doing and why? What's the benefit of having a country in a wiki project gov directory? Because I'm lost. You start uh, from a I mean, what's the aim of it? Can you maybe elaborate a bit? The, the aim is to get wiki data fully. Uh, covered with the, the, all the governmental agencies. And of course, we want to have full coverage for Wikidata because we want to have info boxes on the different, because all of these are notable. So that, that's why we're doing it. And this, the Gov directory is just a name, like the country, Wiki project country subdivision is a project name. So that's why we're doing it. Okay, so the purpose is to have a nice info box in the Wikipedia article for each country. Not only for each country, but for each municipality, each province, each county, okay. each okay. government agency, environmental protection agency, each court, and so on. So there's going to be like thousands 
and tens of thousands in the end. Only for Sweden, there's like 768, I think. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And there's numbers that John is typing for it was 19 ministers. We add those numbers to really keep track of how many ministers, for example, we expect the country to have. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And here I just added Peru in a couple of changes here in the template, which we got. And when I start publish this here, we have the, the starting point for Peru. But of course, this is all sort of still empty. And I really would say that don't go start empty pages like this if you not intend to keep working on them, because that's just going to make it hard to keep track on where work is actually happening. But if you're about to add the query for all the ministers of Peru, of course, or for your country, then go ahead. So we have done a little bit of the, the chef trick here, and we have already written this query. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit more here so you can, oh, no, that was out. Hello, good afternoon. My name is Khadija. Uh, I just want to know uh, what is the use of uh, putting up the countries uh, for Wikidata if uh, there is no Wikimedia in that country. For example, if a country does not have Wikimedia. Uh, so what oh, is- Oh, this has is... nothing to do, do with that. This is what we're gonna display Oh, like where we're we gonna see this. Like even if there's not a Wikimedia in that country, there's still gonna be articles about the things on Swedish Wikipedia, on English Wikipedia, on French Wikipedia. And of course we want it on Wikidata anyway. So this has nothing to do with the, the Wikimedia affiliates and chapters like this. So of course we wanna have articles on ministries of Peru in, in all the different languages. This is not just for, uh, for uh, the, the chapters now. And here we have a, an item on Wikidata for ministers of Peru. So this gets very easily queryable. And we see there is 19 different of these here. And we can see that you have this trick here where you have set the title for the query, where you put in the expected number as well. It makes it super easy to actually compare if you go down to a result. You just have 19 in the result count as well as in the title. Exactly. And then we're gonna take this little nice query and we're gonna head back over to the page here and actually put in the query so that others also can use it. So this is sort of like a way of sharing the query with everyone. And a great thing to do here in case you have the ability is to add a source, preferably a official source for this count number, because they also change all the time when they add ministers or remove them and so on. Yes. And we're going to do a similar thing here. This was the ministries. And there's also regions of Peru. It should be 25, it said on the country subdivision. And here's the region. So we'll see. Hopefully it, this doesn't, hasn't changed since yesterday. <laughs> no, it seems to be correct still. So these are the different regions of Peru. And then we can also go grab the query here. Go back over here. And for each of these, the template just says first level because the name of these are different uh, in all countries. But here we can say uh, regions now when we know that it's regions. So now we have two things done. Sorry. Let's just, see if we can make, yes. Uh, excuse me, so just a quick question. You, you've had agencies in the title and in the string mm -hmm. that you just replaced, but you just replaced yeah. it with the uh, regions. So 
Is that intentional yes. or did I miss something? Yes. Yes. So each, each region here is an agency in, in, in a sense, in a broader sense, it's a, a public administration. So that's a sort of an agency and usually these have elections or something like that. Yeah, that was not very clear. So maybe I, I will try to see if I can contribute some initial documentation for the term agency being used in that broad uh, meaning. Ah, yes. It differs a little bit between countries and countries as well. In some places, a region might not be a government agency. Mm -hmm. In some, it might be. Um, in some levels, yes. Yeah, it varies. And we'll just see if the, the same is true for provinces. That should be, so this is the second level, should be 196. We have an item on Wikidata for province of Peru. And let's see, it was 196, it says here. So today we were lucky. You might not be this lucky with, with your country. There might be some missing. There might be some old ones still lingering around without an end date. Uh, so those are a few things that you will have to, to figure out. Yeah, the really tricky ones tend to be when there is like one off. You need to find a single one, which is a bad one among hundreds sometimes. Um, but usually it's quite, quite straightforward. Very much depending on what sources you have accessible. Yes. And now we have a, a few, we have two levels sort of done. These are usually the most common that you have two levels. Some countries only have one, some have three, some even have four. So it depends on how large the country in is and how bureaucratic it is uh, in, in a sense or maybe bureaucratic is the wrong word how it is divided yeah. uh, i really. think uh, if you head over to the page about germany you see a lot of levels if i remember correctly yes and now optimally we will also have all the government other government agencies now we don't have them for for now and we don't have a good register yet but that is also an excellent thing you can help out with, finding the good sources. Where are there the, the official registers for these? Because that will make things much easier. And really all of these three that we just added, they should have better sources rather than us just checking uh, Wikipedia to see, does, was this correct as of now? Uh, yeah. So an official uh, source would be better. Common example for orchard government agencies even include things like courts, and so on. And then uh, this is mostly sort of like the level that we would like people to get up to before we also would say this can be included on the external web page for wiki project or go directory. So if I head back up here at one level. Uh, this is, of course, valuable for Wikidata in itself that we have everything structured. But to make it even more usable, we've, we sort of made an extraction of this on an external website that shows this in a little bit of a nicer way. So, for example, if we head over to Singapore, perhaps, since we're there, or you are there, um, this is how a web page could look like uh, there. So we get some basic things retrieved from Wikidata. And then, then we here see all the different uh, ministries and what kind of uh, social media they have. And if we go down on one of the ministries, we also see their website link, phone. We don't know who is running this yet. Uh, and here we see all the links to the different things. So this will make this possible for people to actually connect. Yeah, and it tend to be that when you've got two types of government agencies on uh, the wiki project page, then it's good enough to be published. Yes. So then we will head to to the talk page here and leave a note for for someone who can actually add this. Uh, and if you're savvy with GitHub, you can actually go ahead and do this yourself. Uh, but if you're not, 
just go to the talk page, add a new topic and say something like, uh, did, we, did we add a new topic? There we go. Here we were ready to be published. Spell that. Is that a good enough message, Alvin? Would we yeah. understand that? Indeed. And when, when you would do this, the most likely John or I would see this message and have a look at it and work towards publishing it. And then if, if you like to keep track of this over time, we'll, we'll head over to uh, something like uh, Iceland here. You can add these integrality templates so that you can actually see, I need to reload this to get it in English. This integrality template where you can actually see, all right, how many has this, the data of different kinds. Uh, right now we can see here that not many of the municipalities has any contact information on social media. They all have the websites. Uh, we know who is running them. So that's a, a good start. Uh, but uh, this is a way to keep track. And then you can also do Listeria lists. Uh, I'll show that on, on the Swedish page, I think. Uh, maybe in the bottom. No? You can do, do list area list to see changes over time more easily uh, where you have all of this. I think that's mostly what we wanted to show to you today. So if, if there's any more questions, uh, you can take them in the chat or on the etherpad or- uh, Yeah, I would here. have a question. Bea Desterman here from Switzerland. Hi, Jan. Mm -hmm. Hello. I was wondering whether you're still in a snapshot mode approach or whether you're also already thinking of how to represent changes over time, like changes in names, yes. but also changing changes in responsibilities of these agencies. Yeah. Then what we're seeing is also changes in administrative territorial units. Like maybe we can share, you can share a few thoughts about that. Yes. So this is mostly to be the keeping track of the current state, because that is at least what first we want to have in the info boxes and also what we're using on the gov directory page as a contact. So that's the current uh, things that are, but for, of course, for Wikidata, it is, in, in, it is important to have all the historical as well. So we're keeping track of that with start and end dates usually and sometimes also with replaced by uh, properties. Uh, but those are not coming into these queries often. But of course, for Wikidata and for Wikipedia, it's uh, it's crucial to have them. Yeah, and, and the big thing when we add a new country, and usually the thing to spend most time on is actually cleaning up those historical government agencies and making sure they got end dates and start dates or replaced by and so on. Yeah, I, so, I can see that and I, I mean, I'm fully aware of this, but then also at any time the first change might happen compared to your first snapshot. Ah, how yes. do you so that's become why aware of that, you know? Yeah, do you mean in, in real life or on here? In real life and then how, how 
to represent i mean i mean can see it's very easy to create a, sh a snapshot uh, entry and also to fit that into into any apps but then next next month they are changing something around and you have to represent it in in wiki data so you you have to become yeah. aware of yeah, that yeah. and then your tools have to be able to to manage the way this is going to be represented in wiki data and should be harmonized across all the countries and so on Mm -hmm. There are a couple of tricks that are currently incredibly useful. One is that because we base this off the Spark L queries, it usually does a lot of the work for us with the start and end dates. In case someone writes a new Wikipedia article about the new institution, it usually ends up in Wikidata with the current information. Um, and then we can see that in the list area lists, and we can see that another page was created and so on. And another trick we use is because many countries actually add government agencies or remove them on specific dates uh, especially in sweden we have two dates a year when the exchange changes usually happens and we try to keep track of those as well yeah but that that's a, a sort of like a, a little bit of a trick to keep track in real life what's happening so what we do for sweden is that we actually have an rss feed for uh from the government to see any press releases about new agencies and they usually announce a couple of months in the head and like it's going to start at the first of january yeah. or the first of july uh, so that's the way we we sort of work with it but it, that is a, a tricky part and also tricky to do it for a country if you're not actually very well into it i live in the netherlands but i still have a hard time keeping track on all the municipalities getting merged and split uh -huh. Uh, we have to end the session, so uh, thank you very much. I don't know if you want to say one last word before we cut the stream. Uh, no, just to, if you're interested, you can poke us. We are online. We're yeah. very active on Wikidata. And Use the talk pages. Yes. Thank okay. you. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you, everyone.